All right, uh, breaking in, post coming in from the national capital opposition uh, meeting on vice presidential post. Senior leaders are meeting at Shad Pawar's residence. Uh, Margaret Alva, whose opposition's uh, vice presidential candidate, is also a part of this meeting. Remember, vice presidential elections are on August 6th. All right, for more on this, I'm joined by Niyamika on the broadcast. And Niyamika, after the opposition announced Margaret Alva as the vice presidential candidate, Today, they are meeting at Mr. Sharad Pawar's residence. What is the agenda of this meeting? Soon after the opposition parties announced that Margaret Elva is going to be the opposition's candidate for the upcoming vice presidential elections, uh, this is the first meeting when uh, uh, she is uh, uh, here at the residence of uh, uh, Sharad Pawar to meet all the opposition party leaders. And uh, uh, the meetings begin at 6 p.m. And uh, as you can see in the visuals, this is the residence of uh, uh, NCP uh, Supremo Sharad Pawar, where the meeting is going on. A lot of leaders have come here, uh, including the Congress party. Leaders Malika Arjun Kharge, Jairam Ramesh, and other leaders, as well like uh, Kani Mozi, Tiruchi Siva, Elamarim Kareem, uh, Binoy Viswam, uh, they are also present here for the meeting. And uh, basically, this is to strategize uh, uh, regarding the upcoming vice presidential elections. As uh, 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 all the opposition leaders are meeting here, they are planning how they are going to go forward uh, for the upcoming elections. And apart from All right, uh, my apologies to the viewers. Uh, we are facing some technical glitches uh, in that uh, link. Uh, but that was Niyamika who was getting us the latest. Uh, the opposition is uh, in a part, is, is, uh, is attending a crucial meeting ahead of the vice presidential elections. Uh, opposition's vice presidential candidate, Margaret Alva, is also present. This meeting is taking place at... Chief Sharad Pawar's residence.